good morning students today i am going to explain about very interesting topic and very uh, interesting as well as very very important based on the exam point of view okay so this uh, agros gel electrophoresis is a technique okay still now we saw about the just what is a vector what is the genetic engineering what is the plasmids and what is the restriction in uh, endonuclease enzyme what is the alkaline phosphatase what is the dna ligase different kinds of enzymes we saw different kinds of fermentation fermentar all those this type of the just uh, genetic engineering tools and introduction only we saw but today from today onwards we we'll, we are uh, going to discuss about the agros gel electrophoresis technique okay this is a technique or it is also called method okay so this is actually a gel by using the gel we are going to be running the electrophoresis that is we are going to run the current on the gel okay we are going to run the current on the gel it is called the gel name is agaros okay so the gel on which we are going to run the current okay so running of the current of the electricity on the gel the bio molecule which is get separated on based on the air charges okay so the introduction to this agros gel electrophoresis it's actually a separating technique it is a separating technique what it is going to separate it is a separating technique of separation of a different bio molecules different bio molecules going to be a separated by using this electrophoresis technique okay this is just introduction to this agros gel electrophoresis next i'm coming to the principle of this agros gel electrophoresis is a it is a by applying a dc that is direct current okay by applying a direct current or the dc current to the molecules just migrates according to the types of charges they have so this is the diagram that show you this is a uh, electrophoresis apparatus okay this is a positive uh, positive charges this side negative charges this side this is a buffer this is a container electrophoresis container this container only will filled with the buffer buffer is a just like water solution okay it is carries the dna from the membrane to the gel gel to the membrane it is carried by this buffer okay so this is a container which consisting of this this is called a container and it is filled with a buffer solution okay this black color this rectangle shape is shows you that is it is a agarose gel okay gel means that is you have seen in the some kids they will uh, used to to eat like skippies and jellies you know that right it is very in the semi solid in state so the same state will be we will see this gel okay in that gel only the dna will run based on the uh, charges and based on their charges they will be a uh, migrate on the gel okay so what they are telling by applying a dc current by giving a dc current this is electrophoresis apparatus this is the platform where we are going to uh, place the uh, gel okay this gel only we are going to add the uh, different bio molecules what is called bio molecules bio molecules means dna rna and uh, proteins proteins may consisting of antigens and antibodies okay this is you will be explain you will be detailedly reading about in your zoology okay so these things is called bio molecules this bio molecules different bio molecules is added here and this is is separated this electrophoresis is only used to separate the uh, dna that is electrophoresis is separation of the different molecules the dna or rna but agarose gel electrophoresis mainly used for separation or a purification of dna purification of a dna from a mixture of substances mixture of uh, bio molecules and the dna what to purify under the agarose gel electrophoresis so by applying a dc current to the molecules migrate according to the type of charges they got have is called the principle of this agarose gel electrophoresis okay this agarose gel electrophoresis which is actually a very widely used method of purification of dna or mixture of solution with dna or rna protein antibody antigen ella mix a irukku appadina it should be as separated or purified the dna by using this agarose gel electrophoresis 
okay and this technique uh, is used to separate uh, from a uh, 2000 base pair to a uh, 20000 kilo base pairs sorry 20000 base pairs we can identify the dna from the 2000 base pair of the dna the 20000 base pair of the dna we can identify by using this method if the dna fragment or the dna g which is present in below 2000 base pair for that we will be using a polyacrylic amide polyacrylic amide so this is also one type of gel like a agarose gel so this gel is used for a less than 2000 base pair containing dna so by using of this polyacrylamide gel we can uh, separate the below 2000 base pair of the dna okay so this is their telling of uh, one of the important point which is regarding to that they are telling okay so next point is then uh, this uh, if you are taking this dna always it is dna always a negatively charged molecule okay so it is always moved towards the yeah, positive charges i told you it is uh, molecules which is migrate according to the, the actual principle of the electrophoresis is it is by applying a current the molecule migrate according to their types of charges they have right so according to the type of the charges they have uh, so if you are taking a suppose example uh, any dna material which is having a negative ion negative ion that is anion which is fast to uh, move towards on the uh, anode and positive ion that is called uh, cations so positive means it's a cation which is move based on the cat cathodes what is this cathodes meaning is it's a negative charge anode meaning is positive charge based on the negative ions will move towards the positive charge and positive ions will move towards the negative charge that you know that right so this is basic principle of the electrophoresis we have seen in the algorithm right so this is basic principle the same formula the dna is a negative charge is ion it is moving towards the uh, positive charges that is it's moved towards the uh, anode okay so this is based on these principle only the dna which is moves towards the uh, positive words when it is uh, running on the uh, agarose gel electrophoresis okay and also it is performed with the marker dna which is known size that is when they, when we are running the dna or the mixture of the molecule biomolecule in the gel will be along with it will be adding some of the dna with the known size Okay. the known sizes of the dna also added along with the mixture of the biomolecule why we are using this marker dna or the known size of the dna marker dna means known size of the dna is called marker dna to know about the unknown dna size accurately okay why we are using this marker sized dna or the marker dna or the size known size dna to identify the accurate size of the unknown dna okay so this is what they are telling in the in the uh, in this thing uh, they want to say main thing and this agarose gel electrophoresis is very very important and widely used method why because of by after completion of this experiment we just taking out this experiment we just taking this uh, this gel and it is uh, appeared and it is uh, keeping on the elimination keeping on the uv elimination that is uv light will show you a, a result the dna in the form of band okay dna will be in the form of dna will be in the form of band in the form of in form of band that band is actually a uh, this this gel is taken from after running with this uh, in this uh, apparatus we just remove this gel and it is stained with the ethidium bromide it is a dye it is a dye this dye will make it give the color to the band of the dna it gives the color to the band of the dna after the coloring or the uh, the staining with this dye that is ethidium bromide if this is uh, observed or uh, detected under the uv illumination or the uv light it is shows you like uh, the result will be a orange influence that is it's an influence some influence fluorescence color will be there 
sorry the orange fluorescence color you can appreciate in the form of band so this is show you the orange color of the uh, fluorescence will appreciate you directly you can detect the dna in the form of the uh, band with the orange fluorescence that orange fluorescence is given by the iridium bromide after we are removing this gel from this container that is electrophoresis apparatus so this is about your like agarose gel electrophoresis and this is if we need this band in the form we can take it as a photograph that is also a uh, advantages of this uv illumination okay this is uh, important this is about your agarose gel electrophoresis and thank you